Site inspection is quite difficult because you need to get the you're looking. The problem is you're looking at cracks that are emanating in the base of the thread, normally where the nut sits one or two rotations in board of the end of the nut or bolt hole. Um, so looking for cracks there. The other place cracks commonly occur is under the head, but then for that you can just use an ordinary general eddy current probe. Uh, so in order to get into the thread, we have a probe with a very sharp tip that matches the thread form, which is usually 30 degrees included angle. Uh, now the problem, and this is most useful on non-ferrous bolts because uh, ferrous bolts you can do MPI on and that's generally the accepted technique, but on uh, non-ferrous bolts dipenetrant isn't really uh, good enough for finding defects. Uh, so these are in-canal tie bolts typically used in aircraft wheel assembly. Uh, so I have the threaded probe. Um, ideally once you have a test block with an option, but we don't have one of those, so I'm using a standard stainless steel test block. Uh, and just to show you that I've got very small defect response, we're using 500 kilohertz by the way, and that's the defect response from a one millimeter deep notch. Uh, lift offs over there, but there's a reason for that. Uh, if I go into the thread, because the thread, and press the bounce button, uh, let's start at the top thread, uh, then settle it in. If we move along, what, 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 um, that was the start turn. What we're looking for is a, a deflection upwards. The problem really is that it's very sensitive to handling. I've tried to put the noise all down there, but if you hold it gently to your fingers and hold it in the base of the thread and then rotate the bolt, it's moments in attention, you get the signal. The trick is name, the base is just and then you keep going to the end of the bolt, really.